that brings us to what are we playing today? Well, you probably read the title, but if you didn't, we are playing a game I had never heard of, but it's from Interplay, who I've had some up and down experience with. I played Mummy Tomb of the Pharaoh by them with Malcolm McDowell, and that was, it was pretty funny. <laughs> it was a funny, like, uh, mist clone with Malcolm McDowell FMVs. And then I also played Frankenstein Through the Eyes of the Monster, which I didn't complete. That game was a pain in the butt. Uh, but that starred Tim Curry being Tim Curry. Uh, so, what could I be playing by Interplay today? Well, I saw this game on eBay, and I had to pick it up. It's called Y2K, the game. And so, <laughs> uh, there's no FMVs in this, as far as I know. So, that's kind of a departure for Interplay, at least the ones I've played. Um, but, it stars Tony J, whose name you might recognize. He's done all kinds of voice work. Um, he was Frollo and Hunchback of Notre Dame, and he's been in all kinds of stuff. And Dan Castanella, who you know from The Simpsons. And there's all kinds of other voice actors who your their work you'll know, even if you don't know them. Um, but just look at this box. It's crazy. And it looks like, like a suitcase. And you'll notice that there's this little hole here. So when I got this off eBay, it didn't come with like an instruction manual or anything. It came basically with the CD and like this support document but it also came with this in it and this got me worried it came with this in it this microcontroller or this microprocessor with a battery in it and it's even got like a press on off which doesn't work obviously this game is in 1999 so this battery is literally 20 years old um and so i thought like holy crap is this guy bugging me that i bought this ebay game from but no i looked it up and what it is is on the back here there's an led that you might not be able to see this would was stuck in the uh, side of this and the led would light up red so that when it was like sitting on the shelf like it would blink it basically it's like an attention grabber um and then if you open it it look it's a bomb dis it's like a giant bomb it's ridiculous like there's nothing about the game other than there's this bomb and then over here, it's kind of hard to see with the glare, but it says, like, Happy New Year. And then it just talks about all the crap that Y2K is going to destroy. Uh, government collapse, nuclear meltdown, civil unrest, water shortage, etc. And then on the back of the box is normally where you get information about the game, right? Uh, you know, like what it's about, like, you know, maybe even some blurbs and stuff like that. There's, no, there's nothing on the back of here except quotes by senators, President Clinton, Newsweek, Alan Greenspan, and all this about how awful the Y2K is going to be for us. So they were really, really pandering to people's fears about Y2K, which if you don't know what Y2K is, and I can't believe I have to explain this, but that just shows how old I am, Y2K was a fear. Uh... I don't know when the fear kind of started and took like a became really popular in the mainstream, like became part of the zeitgeist. Uh, I remember it as early as like 97 or 98, but it really hit ahead in 99. And the basic idea was that computers were only programmed with double digit year code year numbers, I believe. And so the idea was that when we hit the year 2000, all computers that had double digit year values would reset to year zero instead of going up to year 2000. And so people were afraid like planes were going to fall out of the sky, banks were going to collapse, things like that. I remember commercials kind of mocking Y2K um, where like a guy went to an ATM as like the New Year's was hitting and because he wanted to withdraw his money in case something happened. And like he checked his account and it like went up to six figures right after the Y2K uh, hit. Uh, and I even remember I was in Florida at the time uh, staying in a hotel and they gave everyone in their rooms like a pamphlet uh, from the hotel with a glow stick. Uh, I guess in case the lights went out, basically explaining like the hotel's precautions and what to do in case of an emergency because of Y2K. So... 
it's interesting if you want to look it up. It seems silly in retrospect, but back then it was a serious issue. So Interplay said, oh, well, let's prey on people's fears and make a game based on the Y2K. So that's what we're playing today. Um, I, I, I know nothing about this game, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. And see how it goes. I'm drinking Earl Grey today. I don't know why the sound cuts off there. Way to start the year 2000. It's a dream come true. I just won the lottery, bought a huge mansion for almost nothing, and I'm buzzed off a hundred dollar bottle of wine. <laughs> The video is choppy for me, too. Excuse me, sir. You requested that I remind you to watch the end of the year celebration. Thank you, Mr. Roboto. I almost slept through it. Could you change the channel for me and ask Candace what the holdup is? By your command, sir. She is finishing the chapter and will be here soon, sir. Well, I guess I can watch the ball drop by myself. Any minute, Candace will finish reading in the library and get in that new nightgown I got her. All I've got to do is get comfortable. Uh-oh. And that's the intro we get. <laughs> so the game runs fine from what I've seen. Um, where'd my mouse cursor go? Uh oh, hold on one second. There it is. Okay. So, in case you're wondering how I'm running this, I'm running this on a virtual machine through Windows XP in compatibility mode. Uh, I could have run it through a 98 virtual machine, but I don't want to take a risk. Usually, if they run on 98, they'll run on XP. So, uh, options, left, right mouse button. Okay. Video mode, hardware, software. We'll just run through software and we'll start. Not responding. AI program corrupted. Disk continuing. Please wait while while we're initializing program repair. What that that patch? Computer programs. <laughs> Why do you always have to wait for the patch? Oh, I give up. I can deal with this after eating breakfast. All right. Uh, uh oh, are we stuck? It was running when I first tried it. Ah, okay. I think I have to like. Yeah, so the character, from what I can tell, doesn't walk unless you go to an item. Uh, hand scanner, use. Oh, that's very strange. It worked yesterday. Uh-oh, Y2K bug. That's very strange. It worked yesterday. Uh, let's open the wardrobe. Uh, what now? Open sesame, you automated hunk of junk. Whoa, nice talk, sugar mouth. Maybe you need your mouth washed out with soap. Wait a minute, is that you, computer? Hello? No, it's your mother. Is this some kind of a joke? Don't answer that. Open the drawer now. Ask me again when you're not in such a cranky mood. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, what a mess. I'm going to kick some CPU right after I get something to eat. I wonder if Candace made coffee. They went to Candace and Gabby. Shut up. Tavi, ooh -woo. How's it going? Weird. wonder why it's not opening. <laughs> How you doing, Tay Tavi? I'm playing Y2K the game. Do you remember the Y2K scare? All right. Well, let's look at... Ah, don't freeze on me now. There we go. Fire. Let's use the no fire. No way. I don't think that's a good idea. All right. PDA. Uh, let's pick oh, up. Better take this with me. Can I look at the PDA? Uh... What about... Not bad, mate. How's you? And yeah, the old Millennium Bug. I'm good, man. My work got canceled for the night, so I actually do get to stream. So I had to have a talking to with my boss about letting me know ahead of time if I'm going to work or not instead of an hour or two. Uh, can I open it now? Weird. All right. I wonder why it's not opening. Oh, is the mirror going to have some... Oh. 
Let's see. Uh, can we go to this wardrobe? No. What'd you have to eat, Tavi? I know you were getting food. Uh, hang yeah, on. That's where I keep my clothes. Yeah, I do need. Yeah, I need to know more in advance. Yeah, I had to talk with her. It's not her fault either. It's like she, it's the kids. You know, they schedule. They try to schedule. Um. They try to schedule last minute because they realize, oh shit, I have a quiz tomorrow and I didn't study for it. Um, Weird. But I'm the Why kind of person that open? like you give I uh, I tell I tell the kids that I work with, you know. It's your job to let me know ahead of time. I can't guarantee anything, but she's a bit of a pushover when it comes to stuff like that. <laughs> Some of mine meat pies. Mincis pies. Can I open the wardrobe now? Okay. Why it's not opening. All right. I guess we're not going to. Let's just leave then. Oh, no. I'm not leaving this room without my clothes on. Why? It's your house. You can do what you want. You missed the intro. This guy won the lottery right before the Y2K. And now his house is revolting against him. Oh, no. I'm not leaving this room without my clothes on. All right. Well, then go to the bathroom. I don't need to use the bathroom at this time. Well, I... Well, the wardrobe's not going to open. Like... Now that's better. Everything's back to normal. Oh, I had to use the hand scanner after I checked the wardrobe. Of course. All right, what is this dude going to wear? Get dressed. Buster, there are anomalous sensor readings in the Hall of Antiquities. You may wish to investigate the cause. Thank you. Okay. Loading. Strange, I wonder what's happening. Unknown heat source of variable intensity detected. Heat source is mobile. Wow, the security cameras are going crazy. Hall of Antiquities will be secured and sealed until nature of anomaly can be ascertained. It Who you? <laughs> you are so dumb. What a maroon. You tricked me? You've got your wires crossed for sure. Well, I might as well look around. That voice so sensual, yes. It's, uh, what's her name? Gary... Jerry... Delanice or something like that? She's a famous voice actor. She's done... Uh, I do recommend look up, like, the IMDB for the Y2K game. Because it's... You might not recognize some of the names, but you'll definitely recognize the work they've done before. Um, okay, so... Let's look at the Chinese. I have better things to do with my time. Fine. All right. Uh, what do we? What's this? A manuscript in a protective case. Okay. Uh, what is that? Okay. Testing cameras. Uh, portrait interface. Okay. Uh, maintenance routines. There, that fixed the problem. This thing was stuck in some kind of self-diagnostic mode. Intruder alert terminated. Diagnostic sequence terminated. Alert status normal. Ooh, normal now. I like that. What am I... Oh, it's like a keypad. Okay, so I don't know what to do with that. That looks operational now. Okay, well, I guess I'm done. Um, let's see. We're going to Rome's Emperors. Okay, he's got a Native American chief hat and a TP. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't cancel me. It's in the game. I have no choice. Uh, do I want to go into, like, another room, I guess? Cannonball. Let's use... I have better things to do with my time. Okay, I guess he has better things to do with his time. What's, uh... Can we go check out this door? I guess so. Okay. It's a weird cursor, the, like, turning key thing. Like, I, I'm not sure, like... Sometimes... 
if I'm using it properly or not. Oh, hello. Oh, I got to get out of the way of the vacuum. <laughs> I got distracted. Um, okay. Uh, do I talk to the vacuum? I see it. Take key. Oh, there's the it vacuumed up a key. Wait, why? I thought I could take the key. Hey, come on, take the key. It said take the key, but I didn't take it. Oh, okay, it's gone now. Great. All right. Uh, let's go over to this uh, wardrobe pier. Uh, can we open this? I guess not. Okay. What about this thing? Nope. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. I guess we'll leave. They don't make them like they used to, huh? Nope. Nope. This is what I... <laughs> this is the bed I've made for myself in buying these games. That's fine. I don't mind. It's, it's like a time capsule into shit. Let's look in this pot. I only examine things I can use. Damn, ogre shit. I only examine things I can use. Being snide with me. Alright, well, let's try a different door then. If you won the lottery, would you have a hall of antiques like this? All right. Nah, what would you have? If you had to have a, a haul of something, and don't say Jessica Negri. Old gaming stuff, okay. I guess we'll go through this door. There's nothing down there. Oh, wait, I see something here. What's this? There's a note back here. What does it say? A paper note. Let's pick it up. Do, do I have like an inventory? Like, there's no controls option, so I don't know. Like, what my in, like, if I have an inventory, I, uh, control, alt, shift, enter, space. Oh, I do have it. Okay. <laughs> Look at that hand. <laughs> Bye. This is my PDA. This PDA unit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm using. Return. Room link. Okay. Cellar. I'm not going to read that. Uh, Is this all I have? Wait, no. Okay. Paper note. Two paint cans. Empty shelf. Uh, two gardening tools. Okay. Oh, no, wait. I did pick up the key. There's a key with an inscription on it. It reads rate, date, and there's a picture of a sinking boat. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Uh, the vase. Examine. Hmm, this has potential. Okay, then let's pick it up. Why did we pick up a... These adventure games, I'll tell you. The character always knows more than you do about what's useful and what's not. Like, I would think that, that maybe that, like, uh, suit of armor would have been useful, but no, I'd probably not. Is this, like... Is this, like, his ancestors? And I don't think that telescope's much use that far away from the window. <laughs> He just won a million dollars, though. I'll cut him some slack. President Lincoln. Elyster Dark. Who's that? Am I showing my ignorance here? I don't know who Elyster Dark is. I know who Andrew Jackson Andrew is. Andrew Jackson, 7th President of the United States, 1829 to 1837. Born in South Carolina. 
Mm hmm. Yeah, can you tell me about Alistair Dark, though? I guess not, okay. But you'll tell me about President Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, 16th President of the United States, 1861 to 1865, born in Kentucky. Okay. I really like historical paintings. I don't know why, but I do, so just drop it. Okay. Getting meta on me. Neat collection. Really? Neat collection. <laughs> uh, what about this book of naval Old history? history books are always a great place to find useful information. You can always learn something from history. Okay. Neat collection. What about the... Neat collection. Large tell... Neat collection. Neat collection. What for? Damn, this dude... What for? Whatever, dude. I... I have not had a character in a game be so, like, dismissive of, like, what I want to do. Alright. Well, like, what, what's the, examine him. Alright, fine. Let's just leave them. <laughs> the way he walks. 